I would never purposely hurt someone, ever. I just felt so stupid. The fact that I would offend other people or hurt other people was definitely not the intent. After a long three-year break from music, Miley Cyrus came back not only to drop an amazing album, but also to defend her best friend in a mild-esque manner. Miley Cyrus is known for being unapologetic and bold about how she feels, which is exactly why it didn't come as a shock when she got into an altercation with Kendall Jenner at the Versace after party and Kendall Jenner was reportedly left in tears. The entire story as to what transpired between the two is not clear, but one clear thing is that Miley Cyrus is not afraid to stand up for her friends. And this could only mean that the old-fashioned feud between Selena Gomez and Kendall Jenner is heating up again. Nasty. It's nasty. Honestly, it's great to see celebrities having each other's backs, especially when it comes to matters of bullying and harassment. It seems this time the feud is not just limited to Selena and Kendall. Now it seems like their friend circle has become involved as well. So let's give context to the drama. Just recently, rumors have been circulating that Kendall and her sister Kylie, along with Hailey Bieber, who we all know is Selena's arch nemesis, have been poking fun at the pop star. Selena had posted a video on TikTok admitting that she might have gone a little overboard with her eyelash lamination. This is me. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. Then shortly after, Kylie took to social media to post a photo of her and her friends with Haley included showing off their eyebrows with the caption, This was an accident? Of course, Selena fans were not having any of it. And they let the Jenner sisters and Haley have it in the media. But it looks like Selena has found herself a knight in shining armor in the form of none other than Miley Cyrus. The Wrecking Ball singer came out in defense of her friend and made sure that Kendall got a taste of her own medicine. In fact, she allegedly promised to finish off those mean girls at the after party of the Oscars. And if I were them, I would be running for the hills. Apparently, Miley was not the only one stressing Kendall out at the Oscars party, because it seems like Kendall and Haley's friendship might be on the rocks. And Justin's wife allegedly gave her best friend the cold shoulder at the event. It must have been hard on Kendall. I mean, her best friend gave her the cold shoulder and Miley confronted her at the same place. There were even videos on the internet showing the awkward encounter. And rumors were swirling that Kendall had been feeling totally overwhelmed by all the drama lately. I still have a lot I need to figure out. Of course, Miley Cyrus knew exactly how to capitalize on the situation and teach her a lesson she would not forget. But it gets even better because our favorite drama queen, Selena Gomez, just had to get in on the action shortly after the rumors started spreading like wildfire. Selena posted a selfie and tagged Miley with a caption, Violent Chemistry. The caption happens to be a song from Miley's latest album, Endless Summer Vacation, and fans, being who they were, quickly connected the dots and speculated that Selena's post was related to the Kendall vs. Miley drama. And to fan the flames even further, Miley even commented with a sweet little heart emoji on the post, if we're being honest, Miley is on a great roll with being a great friend to Selena Gomez. In case you didn't know, this is not the first time Miley has come to Selena's rescue. Back in 2012, when fashion designer Stefano Gabbana made some nasty comments about Selena, Miley was quick to jump in and shut him down. It all started when Stefano, known for his work with Dolce & Gabbana, called Selena ugly in an Instagram comment. Of course, this did not sit well with Selena's fans and Miley was no exception. She was mean to the guy as she threw cuss words at him and defended her friend Selena by saying, she is fine as fuck. Honestly, it's great to see celebrities supporting each other like this. It can be extremely tough to be in the public eye all the time, and having friends who stick up for them no matter what would make all the difference. For Selena, it must feel really good to know that Miley has her back. Now, there's another important detail to note. You know how everyone is sick of the Kardashians? Well, it might seem that Miley and the family have some beef as well. And no, it's not just Kendall. Last year in January, Miley and Kim Kardashian ended up on, let's just say, not so good terms. 
So let's take a trip down memory lane to December 2021, when love was in the air for Pete Davidson and Kim. At the time, another couple was making waves in the entertainment industry, Miley Cyrus and Pete Davidson. The dynamic duo was set to co-host a live New Year's special and was now about to promote it. In fact, they made quite the appearance on The Tonight Show earlier that month, where Miley could not resist making a few jabs at Pete's new girlfriend. But the joke turned into drama because Kim Kardashian then unfollowed Miley Cyrus. It's not clear when this Kim unfollowing thing happened, but to think of it, did Kim really unfollow Miley because of a random joke? It has become almost normal to see Kendall and her friends come after Selena as if they're trying to create a remake of Mean Girls. But not everyone knows that they actually all used to be pretty good friends. Back in the day, Selena Gomez and the Kardashian and Jenner clans were practically inseparable. They went to Coachella together, posed for Instagram selfies, and even attended award shows as a squad. But the trouble started brewing when Justin Bieber allegedly started seeing Kendall behind Selena's back. It's not clear how she found out about the secret bonding, but she was not happy when she did. So she promptly broke things off with Justin and cut ties with Kendall. Well, I definitely had to get probably the most toxic thing out of my life first. Then it started becoming being a, being a bit more vocal. Uh, I am naturally a people pleaser, so it's just more kind of saying, no, this isn't what I'm going to do. But it seems like Justin's love for the Kardashian and Jenner clans did not end there. When Courtney appeared on The Ellen Show, Ellen could not resist asking about her relationship with Justin. But Courtney played it cool and insisted that they were just friends. But we already know there's usually more to the stories when it comes to the Kardashians and Jenners. But does Justin Bieber help with the kids at all? Or um, no, only that's the rumor. I know y'all are just friends, right? Or yes. are you really dating him? We're friends. You're friends. Yes. Well, why are you smiling that way? <laughs> We're you're, friends. You're smiling as if that maybe it's beyond friends. As if that wasn't enough, Kendall became best friends with Justin's wife, Hailey Bieber, and that was what sealed the deal on ending Selena's ties with the Kardashian and Jenner sisters. While Kendall's relationship with Justin might have caused some tension, her friendship with Hailey Bieber put the final nail in the relationship because it must hurt seeing the person you used to be really close with become best friends with someone who does not like you. And as for Miley's response to Kendall, I guess you would never really know what transpired. So tell me, what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments.